Sometimes you gotta stay in And you know where I live Yeah, you know what we is Sometimes you gotta stay in and Welcome to my house Baby, take control now We can't even slow down We don't have to go a while Welcome to my house Play that music too loud Show me what you do now We don't What up, YouTube? Vapist001 coming at you with another video. My last video, we went over this beauty. This beautiful Joytech Evic VTC Mini, I believe. Still got her in nickel mode, still doing a good job. But, first of all, guys, off topic here. We just had the craziest storm ever in Arkansas, Fayetteville. Tornado warnings, sirens were going off downtown, freaking telling us all to get into our shelters. We didn't have a shelter in our house, but telling us all to get into our shelters with five minutes after my dad told me there was a tornado warning after I came out of the, the shower. The wind and the rain and the hail just started going crazy. It was ridiculous. Like, even when I lived in Iowa, like, the center of Tornado Alley, it never got that bad. Like, that would, and it was only, like, 10 minutes, and then snap, it was over. It was crazy. At first, I was like, Dad, when it calms down, tor that's when a tornado usually is coming. But, it, nothing happened. It's all calmed down. It's barely raining now. It's past us. <sighs> Big relief. Don't like tornadoes. Probably one of my... I don't know, I have two phobias, sharks and tornadoes. Don't like either of them. But the reason I came with this video today is because as we talked about the VTC Mini, I also brought out this beauty. The UL Crown sub -ohm Tank. This thing, freaking beast. Now, I'm going to hold my, my Hercules up to it. Laying them down about the same. As you see, it's quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit chunkier. Holds a lot more juice. I'm going to say it's probably, eh, I wouldn't say half. Maybe like a third bigger. But this thing hits like a beast, guys. I'm going to turn this thing. 60 watts 60 watts the coil in here is a 0.26 coil at 3.95 volts on of course on my relo rx200 now you might be thinking that's not that big of a cloud it ain't that big it's pretty good size and she's thick just big old thick clouds mm. so some of the pros to this thing the tank itself holds a lot of juice I think the Hercules right there I think it holds like 3, 3.5. This thing I want to say it holds a milliliter to 2 milliliters more. Probably, yeah, probably about that much. This this tank, guys, holds a decent amount of juice in her. Um, I bought this the other day when I bought the, the tank. And I filled it maybe twice. Maybe. Maybe twice. And I've been using this. This is what I got in right now because this is my my six milligram. This is what I like to use when I don't want to. Uh, I want to conserve. Next pro. The coils. 
nice coils, nice big old coils. Um, they're probably twice the size of my Hercules ones. The gauge of the wire is probably three times as thick as my Hercules. Um, has your standard 510 dripper. But uh, the O-rings on this are a lot thicker than my other ones because I tried sticking my other 510s on here from like my Hercules. And what was the other one? Oh, and from my, uh, my Ego. And uh, they didn't fit very well on here. But this thing fits super snug on theirs. I'm a, I want to get new O-rings so I can fit my Hercules one on there. Just because I do like that one a lot. This uh, this sucker is probably meh. I wouldn't say three. But I'd say meh, two, two and a half millimeters thick. Um, third pro. Top fill. Love my top fills. Hate having to take the bottom off it. It's so annoying. And another pro that goes along with that one is leakage. Haven't had any leakage at all. Um, every once in a while when I fill it, I'll close off the air holes. But she doesn't, she just doesn't leak. And it's nice. She just doesn't leak at all. Third pro, flavor. You can push this thing as hard as it can go. Flavor is still going to be great in this thing. Especially like with Aloma's house juice. I don't know what it is with you guys, Aloma, but your juice, your house juice just doesn't cut it. When I used to live in Iowa, I'd never buy house juice. My buddies always buy house juice. I never did because it was just never that good i never really liked it there's a couple of them that are pretty good but most of them don't do a good job um i usually just bought premium juices from there that's about it but in this thing this juice good as shit And the first day I got it, I filled it with some of that strawberry peach lemonade, the house juice from Vapor Lounge. I love theirs because there's this Max VG pre they make Max VG premium house juices. They don't have a lot. They only have probably 15, maybe, maybe 15. Like they don't make like strawberry banana. They don't make like regular ones. They make more complex like strawberry peach lemonade. Not that complex, but nightmare. Um, does it say what's in it? Well, no, it doesn't. Damn. But it's like a blueberry, melon. I don't really know how to explain it. It's in my, uh, my ego. Third pro, or I wouldn't say third. This is like the fifth pro, but next pro. The packaging, always nice to come with an extra glass. And it comes with two, technically three if you count the one that's already in here, two Canthal coils. And uh, the guy from the Vapor Lounge told me that he had his coil in for about, I think he said four to five weeks, which is... I thought pushing a little bit, but he let me hit off of his, and the flavor was still awesome. It didn't, it wasn't burnt or anything. Like, it's a surprise how well these coils can hold up. Now, on to the cons. She's a little bulky. Like I said, she, she's a big, like I showed you with the, the Hercules tank. Now, that depends on your preference. Do you want to hold more juice? Gonna have to go with the bulkier tank. It's just how it is. Um, my next con is that it's not adjustable and it doesn't protrude like at all uh, it's, it's, I guess it slightly protrudes but 
it just I like I like them to protrude a little bit like on my Hercules it protrudes it protrudes quite a bit and it's nice because you, you don't really have to worry about it not working on a mod um, it wouldn't really be this next con isn't really a con for the tank but more for the evic this tank does not sit on her flush whatsoever and when you put her on there she rattles you can feel the connector inside the evic rattle but what do you expect sometimes joy tech hits it on the mark sometimes you know it's a little messed up I got it. It's a little messed up. Just a little. So, another pro of it. Good vapor production. Not bad. As you see, that was a continuous thick vape coming out of my mouth. Which comes up to the next con. When you're vaping at high wattages with this thing, she can get hot. I don't mean the tank. The tank does a really good job at distributing heat. It helps with these grooves in like the, the airflow control. Oh yeah, that's another one I gotta talk about guys. I gotta talk about this one really quick. The airflow. She locks into place. It doesn't just free spin. She locks. It locks until you reach the end of the airflow. And then it lets it spin. And then it locks again. That is a big, 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 big pro for me. Her, and then uh, it protrudes. Like the, the ring for it protrudes. Like on the Hercules tank. Messing with your airflow is a bitch on this tank because you're going to mess with it and next you know you close your freaking juice wells you take a hit don't realize it nasty dry hit so i mean that's really all i have for this tank guys um like i said she's bulky she does a good job top or top fill is really nice this grip right here really easy to take off <sighs> my next video is going to be on it's going to go old school, and we're going to go over the IPV Mini 2. Why? Because I love this motherfucking mod, that's why. And then the next time I'm going to review this tank is when I get one nickel, one stainless steel, and one titanium coil. Now, do they have all those? I don't know. I'm going to find out tomorrow. On another note, guys, my fast tech order. My fast tech order has shipped. I think it shipped two, three days ago, and it's supposed to revive or be here within tomorrow to Monday. Now, or tomorrow to Tuesday. Now I'm gonna add at least a week and a half to that because, like everybody says. It's not fast tech it's slow tech but we'll find out we'll see if my suspicions of all the stuff I said in my last video is true or not we'll know until we find out but guys that is it for this video that's all I got this is vapor vapist vapor vapist double O's 001 can't talk today guys but this is vapist 001 hide your mods and hide your tanks because i'm vaping everything up in here